This is the village of Little Bingmarsh in Dorset, the very heart of Hardy's Wessex. Well favoured by a combination of climate, topography and soil, Little Bingmarsh has some of the richest farmland in England. It also has Giles Scrote, who eight months ago married Major George Crabtree's only daughter, Felicity. By this union, for the first time, a Scrote had entered one of England's oldest land-owning families. Sadly, ten days after the wedding, Felicity's father died, causing the newlyweds to cut short their honeymoon, return home and take over the running of 600-acre farm, where our look at another of the Scrote sextuplets begins. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Hold on, I'm in the middle of... Uh, hang on. Right, sorry about this. You've caught me in the middle of... Uh, you caught me in the middle of breakfast. So you've been in touch with all the others. Hang on, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so you've been in touch with all the others. This, uh, it says, uh, 500... Yeah, that, that, that's... That, all right. That's great, no. Oh, well, so what, you want to be, uh, you want to see the farm, I suppose, will you? And have a bit of a look round. I'll just have a bit of breakfast. I was up with the young farmers last night, bit of a night. Uh, so this is, uh, this is basically... Oh, hang on, whoa, whoa. There's a, there's, there's a bit of cows that I was talking about. There you go, go on, boy. There's, uh, uh, that one's, that one's called, uh, that's, that's Daisy there, that one. They, uh, I think they're off, um, well, they'll be off for a bite to eat, I think. There are lots of farm buildings and stuff like that. I don't know what's quite well, what we've got in here. What's this? Go on, get back in there, go on. It's, uh, oh, yeah, we've got a few hens, I think. I think this is the best bit, because I've got a combine harvester, you see. The old farmers have them. I keep it, uh, it's in here, I think. This is where, where this is where I've got the, oh, no, no. no it's just full of plop, that one. Uh, I've got a combine officer, as I say, I don't know. Because you need them. That'll be all right, that gate, I think, if we just leave that there. None of it will get out, it's all right. Um, these are good. Uh, these geese here, right, look, we, we have to keep them penned up, I think. I don't think Edward would mind me doing this. Keep... These, uh, these are for Christmas, these ones. We kill them at Christmas. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is, uh, this is, we've got a field here, uh, with, um, well, it's got grass in it, really, isn't it? I don't, I'm not quite sure. Well, uh, the, uh, this, this is good. You see, around the farm, we've got, we've got the electric fence that's here to, uh, they'll be keeping the grass in, I suppose. I don't know, has he got it switched on or not? Ow, shit, yes, he has. Anyway, things to do. With no farming background himself, Giles sensibly employed a farm manager to help him through the early days. Since then, Giles has taken on more of the day-to-day -day running of the farm, more especially since the farm manager ran off with Giles's wife three months before this film was made. This is the nerve centre here, the computer. Hmm. Hey, see, look, it's got all of them here. Look, the bank, all the money coming and going. Li a livestock there. Uh, crop rotation, what I'm doing, feed, everything, the VAT, tax, it's all, it's all. It's replaced, like, ledger, bo ledger books. You used to have ledger books full of all this. And it, this, it's all on one thing. Look, if I wanna, if I wanna find out how much milk I've got, right, I go to milk, hang on, uh, milk, wool, and then press enter. No, no, I press enter. This is the dairy in, in here. This, this is where um, I don't like to get too near the cows. They, uh, this is them being milked, you see. Look, 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 look. You see? Look, milk, there. Coming out. Do, what happens if the cows come in and then up? They, uh, as I say, I'm not good with cows. This, uh, this is Edward. My farm hands, he works for me. All right, Edward? Uh, well, well. Yeah. That's good. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Uh, Ed Edward doesn't really like me touching the cows. He's he says I upset them. Yeovil, where the Wednesday market offers the chance to meet other farmers, to catch up on the latest rural gossip, and, for Giles Scrote, to realise some of his assets. Well, steady. Yeah, there's different coloured ones in this. What sort of, what sort of, uh, Hereford? Yeah. Oh. I come from Hereford, apparently. Oh. Where's the, um, where's the Danish, no, the Belgian blues? Oh. No? 
you haven't seen I've, I've just bought the one cow to sell. It's like this, much bigger. You haven't seen one on its own, have you? I'll try over there. It owes me 40 quid, that one. Who are you actually filming with today? Huh? Who are you filming with? Oh, they're making a film about me. Me and my brothers. I've got, I've got five other brothers. Yeah. They've been following me around for bloody days. And what's it all in need of? It's, I think it's Channel 4. It's not, it's not one of the better ones. How much are these worth? Yeah, I thought it was 250 for all of them, 258, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Lucky I didn't put my hand up. I can't afford any of these ones. <laughs> I can't even understand what he's saying. <laughs> I'm just selling one cow. Yeah. Need a bit of cash. A bit strapped for cash at the minute. There's no way we can do it without having to go through this bloke, is there? No. Yeah. By the way, a 414. Blue steer there, gentlemen. What are you going to say that one? Somebody, 350. 350. Well, it was here about 20 minutes ago. The yeah, it was a big depression, yeah. As it turned out, Giles Scrote is no stranger to sudden repossession. Two days previously, his tractor had been claimed by a well known building society. But since work on the farm must never stop, a substitute vehicle had to be found. This took the form of Mrs. Prestwick's G registration Morris 1100. It's an unorthodox approach, to be sure, but Giles is a great believer in organic methods, and nothing must hold up the business of returning nature's bounty to its source. On this occasion, however, Giles' resourcefulness has let him down. I think it's stuck. Yeah. I didn't realise it was quite so bumpy around here. It's actually stuck. You're, uh, you've got that van you've got. That's, uh, that's a four-wheel vehicle, isn't it? That one you've got. electric windows in. 800 Acre Farm was once the biggest single holding in the district. However, since Giles married into the estate, there has been what can only be described as a streamlining of 600 Acre Farm, coupled with a lively diversification. I've been ironing out the buildings, you see, because they've, they've been I've not no use for them. So, uh, I see this antiques. We've got antiques here, you see. This is Terry and Dave. There's a couple of blokes who live in the bungalow down the road. They sell stuff. They're, uh, they're on holiday in Greece at the minute. I said I'd keep an eye on it, you know. <laughs> One of the many ventures that Giles Scrote attempted was the introduction of a farm shop selling locally grown produce. But Giles was at the mercy of market forces. Yeah, if you ask me, it was uh, it's Tesco's laying on the free bus to uh, Yeovil. That's what killed this off. 
but the farming community is a caring community, and at its center, the village pub. Here, for the price of a few rounds, Giles can buy the solution to at least one of his problems. Right, I've got it, mate. Yeah, gears and then starters. This is the start, yeah? All right, thanks. The modern farmer, then, has to be a master of all trades. Factory manager, administrator, mechanic, and, when the need arises, an adept politician. It's Giles, yeah. It's, it's stuck. It's got stuck. Yeah, it's up to the axles. Yeah, oh, yeah. You haven't got, uh, you haven't got anything bigger, have you? Something? No. Today's agricultural scene is changing fast. Over 60% of total income now comes from outside farming. Accordingly, Giles has called in Patrick Roper, marketing director of Alton Towers, to show him how 400 acre farm can best be exploited. What well, I thought is maybe, uh, I don't know, like water shoots or something. What, well, what have you got at your place? Uh, have, you, have you got water here? Is this a, a river or a stream you've got over there? Well, not a stream as such. Now, I've got a cesspit over the back there, and what happens is I pump the water yeah. up into the field, right. and it, it, it ends up as a pond. Could we... Well, you do need quite a lot of water. I mean, if you could expand that pond into a fairly large reservoir to hold the water yeah. for a, a log flume or a Grand Canyon Rapids... I log mean, flume? You, that you, sounds you good. You need several million gallons an hour going through, you see. Um, and if you, you need, you'd need to pump it up to the top of the hill, probably, really. Well, how much will that cost you to get it out there? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you could install a fairly inexpensive pumping system for probably about three quarters of a million pounds, something of that sort, I should think. But, yeah. you know, that's just aside from the ride itself. No, it's a church over the back there. Yeah. I thought we could make that into a cafe. What do you reckon? Well, it would probably make quite a good cafe. It's been deconsecrated, has it? You're allowed it to do that be. in it there. It can be. It can be, I think. Where did you get all your cash, then? Uh, well, well we, we have a man who's got a lot of money who's able to afford that sort of thing. Um, it's, we're a private company and he's built it up himself with his own uh, personal money. Got his phone number? Come here, boy. How much money will I need initially, John? I suppose you'd need to, to get going. You'd need about £25 million. Pounds. Giles has decided to press ahead regardless. Shut up! In spite of the polite but firm refusal of Alton Towers to have anything to do with 300-acre farm, Giles Scrope believes he's hit on something that will not only put 300-acre farm firmly on the tourist map, but will also make him rich beyond his wildest dreams. Morning. Come on. 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 Come on.